name's Yen and um, I'm running the Robobus program with Father Bob McGuire Foundation. I'm here today to share with you and, and to the public about this project that is reaching children for STEM education. STEM education actually stands for the science, technology, engineering, sometimes the arts and math subjects. And uh, we're looking to break digital poverty amongst young people by introducing them to these topics in a very hands-on way on a beautiful creative bus that we've decorated and we have kitted out with all the amazing technology and robotics for children. We've got the Melbourne Indigenous Transition students coming in. They're going to be having a hands-on experiment with M-Bots. They'll be putting them together, understanding all the intricacies of a robot. Then they'll be having a little bit of fun with National Science Week. We're told that now 75% of the, the jobs that these children of today, when they're out in the workforce, are going to require STEM skills. These children are going to be creating their own jobs. So STEM um, develops skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, creative thinking. So many of what we call the soft skills um, in preparing children for this future that's really unknown. Behind me is Rocky, the Think Digital coach, and I actually won this bus in a competition. They said, what would you do if you won a bus? And I said, I'd travel around Australia teaching kids about the digital world. My biggest passion is to teach kids where their food comes from. So there's a real disconnect with that at the moment. So the bus travels around the city and around regional areas. Over the last three years, we've had uh, every age you could imagine. In fact, we've had preppies right through to retirement homes. It was so good to team up today with Father Bob and the Robo Bus. The Think Digital coach was all doing VR and AR and then we had the Robo bus teaching kids about volcanoes and doing sort of makerspace stuff. So anyway the kids walked away today with massive smiles on their face. It was a huge success.